The McDonald diagnostic criteria are very important for clinicians to have a set of guidelines for the diagnosis of MS. They uh, continually have been revised to uh, be more sensitive and specific so that we can make an accurate diagnosis, not overdiagnose people, but also make an earlier diagnosis. Major changes for the 2024 McDonald diagnostic criteria include incorporating advanced imaging to help us define biological aspects of the disease. So for example, the central vein sign, which we know is part of the pathology of MS, can now be imaged with MRI, and uh, we've incorporated that into the early diagnosis, making it easier to be sure that white spots on an MRI are actually related to MS lesions. In addition to that, the optic nerve is now officially a fifth location that's considered typical of MS. Now it was always there uh, in the sense that if you had optic neuritis that was considered a typical symptom or attack of MS, but what's changed with the optic nerve is that we can use devices to detect asymptomatic optic nerve involvement. We'll be able to diagnose earlier um, and more accurately and that's the foundation of the entire treatment plan and you know we want to have confidence in our diagnosis, we want our patients to understand and have confidence in it as well. And then again, is if we can offer treatment as early as possible, then we'll be able to hopefully prevent long-term ramifications of the diagnosis. And so we really want to, you know, we really think it will impact people in a beneficial way.